Well, good morning, Get Wrecked for Recovery crew. So it's day number 33 of the Redeeming Eden Cycle Tour. R-E-C-T, Get Wrecked for Recovery. A 48-state, four-year ride for addiction recovery awareness. Each day I pedal for someone who's passed away from addiction, and the whole end goal is to build a rehab. This is state number 34 and a half, Michigan's Upper Peninsula, on the Ride to Rag Bride 2022. 4,500 mile loop around the Midwest, Ohio to Erie Trail, Michigan's Upper Peninsula, Glacier National Park, Yellowstone National Park, and then Rag Bri the last week of July, and it's all to raise awareness that addiction recovery options are available, that you don't have to die in your addiction. There's churches, celebrate recoveries, and rescue missions all over the nation, all over the world. They just want to help you, talk to you, and love you if you find yourself battling addiction so um yeah last night was miserable miserable i don't want to complain i just want to like catalog what happened so tin roof uh and it stormed um which was okay when it was like a light misty rain um and then, like, I guess I'm at the highway, uh, crossing of the highway here. And I see signs that say, like, 57 miles or someplace. And then, of course, I'm on the other highway. So this is, like, a big intersection. And it was Saturday night. And there must have been 30 different either trucks with, like, the... Just jamming down this road. Uh, not only that... This is a four-wheeler snowmobile trail, so people were out last night, like, just racing those things down through the trails. It wasn't too many of those, but, I mean, it was enough to be noticeable. Then, as the rain was, like, getting really strong, the winds picked up. Like, I don't know if you can see this flag back here. Yeah, it's not doing it right now, but I tell you what, that thing was just straight out, and so it's... It was tearing my uh, sleeping bags off of me and making them just flutter in the wind. And so that was waking me up. And then this morning, every bird in the area must come to this place for like, you know, coffee in the morning because it was just, it was like a zoo. If you've ever been to those, you know, nets that you walk into and feed the birds, little cup of nectar, and it's like, ah, ah, that's... That was a sunrise this morning, so I am like very unrested. Um, I don't know how this wind is gonna work. Like I, I think it's a south wind. I think it's gonna help more than it's gonna hurt. But my plan is to go to Ironwood, which is at the border of Wisconsin. And that's 60 miles uh, again, back to back. So, if it's hurting at all, I don't know if that's even going to be a possibility. Um, but we'll see. I don't really know. Uh, all I know is that uh, I got to get on the bike and ride. First thing I got to do is go get some breakfast. Um, maybe even take a nap. Like go to a library and take a nap or something. <laughs> Either way, I'm going to get on the road. You're going to see more of that right about now. All right, so I just stopped in here to Char's Cafe and had breakfast, brushed my teeth, did all the things I needed to do, and uh, yeah, I'm going to get on the road now. It looks like I'm going to be fighting a end of the wind at about 3 o'clock, so I'm going to just have to push as hard as I can, so I can't spend too much time talking. Love you guys. See you later. So, 
As I've been riding from breakfast, I was listening to a message preached by a guy named Dave with Balgo Church of the Brethren in northern Indiana. Uh, and so he's actually a pastor friend of Bob and Nicole's who comes and stays at Maple Ridge Resort. And Bob had passed along uh, my testimony and kind of what had happened there and me kind of just ending up uh, there at uh, Maple Ridge. And so his message this week was going to be on the Emmaus Road after the resurrection, how, you know, Jesus commissioned the disciples to, like, go and share what had happened. Uh, and he said, what, a, what perfect timing to be able to hear about this guy riding a bicycle. Uh, and so I just listened to his message, and it was so cool. He mentioned Redeeming Eden. He mentioned me. Uh, it was just beautiful. He even made a bicycle joke where he was talking about uh, there's a spin class, and he told me he wasn't going to join unless they have a downhill one. And Dave, I couldn't agree with you more on that one. <laughs> Uh, so anyway, I was blessed this morning. I wept a little. It was good. Uh, my spirit is refreshed, and the winds are still just crazy. So I'm going to keep on riding. Love you guys. See you later. and a gas station burrito. There's two restaurants right here on the main strip in Bergland, uh, and both of them are closed until May 1st. So uh, I'm going to continue to head. There's like 20 miles to the next town. Um, into the wind a little right now, but it's turning, and it's going to be like a direct headwind for a little bit. Uh, so I'm going to try to avoid that as best as I can. It looks like that's going to start about 3 o'clock, and it's 1.16 now. So I'm hoping I can, you know, 10 mile an hour it through some of this section. Uh, either way, after that, uh, I plan to eat and then make my way to Ironwood, which is uh, on the Wisconsin state number 35 border, and try to figure out somewhere to stay there. I'm really not sure on how all that's going to work yet. Their campgrounds, of course, are closed uh, right now, and it's going to get a little bit colder tonight, but uh, Tuesday's the real bad day. So far tomorrow, the winds look like they're much lighter than they are today, but the high is going to be 34, and it'll be a direct headwind as I pedal, so I may push out a bunch of miles today. I may save those miles for tomorrow. I have no idea what I'm going to do, which you guys well know, and so to figure that out, I need to get on the road, and you'll see more of that right about now.
You know, as I've watched some of the fast motion footage when I've been editing before, you can't really tell what's going on, but into this wind, into these gusts, it's a direct headwind, but it'll shift just a little. And when it does, it catches my bike like a sail and is either pushing me like out into the rumble strip and near the white line or over onto where I'm at right now where it just pushed me. Uh, the softer dirt and I mean it's only like a you know 14 inch strip that I've got to ride on without being in the roadway there is more traffic today but uh, it's definitely that, that was one of them but it's still not bad compared to like some of the other roads that I've been on so I am at least happy about that but yeah I just wanted to throw that in there I mean it is just when it gusts that I don't have time to react. It's pushing me whatever direction it wants to push me. No doubt about it. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm watching cars in my rear view and kind of being a little bit more hesitant, but I'm just I'm, I'm going really slow. I'm making a very, very slow movement today because of this right here. So, yeah, let's keep going. Well, there it is, the central time zone. Time traveling Adam has struck again. Uh, it's really cool to finally be on the same time zone as my family again, that's kind of neat. Uh, but the wind has not stopped, it's been, it's rough. This is a rough day. Uh, the wind, I think, eats into my spirit more than the hills do. Both of them are really complicated and tough on a cycle tour, but uh, the wind you can't see. Like a hill, you can see where it is wind is just like you're at, you're at its mercy and so even though the winds are contrary I'm gonna keep pressing on across the uh, the UP here uh, the end is in sight uh, not too much farther from Ironwood maybe 20 more miles hopefully uh, and I can get out of this wind for the evening yeah let's go You know, it is just crazy how this wind is unrelenting. It is really, really tough. I think I'm gonna stop in Wakefield when I get there and assess the situation. Uh, I am just getting slung all over the place, into the road, into the shoulder. Like, it's just, it's not good. It's uh, not a safe place to be riding the bike in these conditions. I do have some peace in this storm. But it's still a struggle, no doubt about it. always super funny to see one of these on the side of the road and realize how much potential it really has. Okay, so I have finally made the determination that wind is worse, and I'll tell you why. This is a giant downhill, like it goes for a couple miles where I would be coasting pretty steadily all the way without having to pedal. Uh, because of the headwind that I'm fighting, I'm having to forcefully pedal the bike down the hill. 
So that is my final cycle touring opinion on which one's worse, wind or hills. It is most definitely wind. Final answer. Okay, well that about does it for today. Uh, my goodness. So I'm at Sunday Lake Eddy Park Campground in Wakefield, Michigan. Uh, I could not make it any farther. It was radically windy and like now it's starting to get cold so my hands are getting cold. Uh, the temperature is dropping. Um, but this was just an absolute godsend and save and actually their power is turned on so I'll actually be able to charge my things tonight which is amazing the only bad thing is is that town is across the lake no I'm not gonna walk across it to go get any food and all their water is turned off uh, I think I've got enough water to cook um, a dehydrated meal and eat because the only thing I've had today since breakfast was that burrito uh, But I'm gonna do that and I mean just look at the wind whipping over here through these tarps and stuff like it's I Can't explain how dead into this wind I've been all day if I wake up tomorrow morning because this wasn't quite forecasted not like this, you know 20 mile an hour steady and then like 35 40 mile an hour gusts um, if this ends up being like this tomorrow morning then i may like talk to these people and see about just staying here through the freezing cold night like just dealing with it and getting to the bike shop and you know all that later on down the road i just have to look at whatever it is that god is doing and been trying to figure out why he's got me pinned down uh here in wakefield uh, so yeah, I'm gonna end the video here so that I can get in that warm tent and start cooking food and eat. Uh, so thankful for the Sunday Lake Eddy Park campground people for letting me uh, do this because I mean it's it's not done being winter here yet and they are gracious and kind to be able to let me stay here. But you know, another thing like there are going to be hard days with addiction. Like, you know, the first week of recovery is like just this mountain it seems like you have to climb. It seems like the winds are like this every single day. It's more like Kansas. Um, but as you move along in your recovery, those days are much, much fewer in between. Like, I can only count really on one hand any days like this. Like, this one is just especially different with the cold winds into uh, it was just a fight, but recovery is a fight, and I'm rooting for you in the fight. So, if you haven't started your recovery process, go for it. Go to a rehab. Go somewhere. Um, go to a church. Uh, go to a Celebrate Recovery meeting. But just start making that effort so that you can start making forward progress. Because it's worth it. As you move along in your process, I promise it gets so much easier. Every day gets better. Every day gets easier uh, as you move along. So anyway, I'm going to end the video here for the day. Uh, if you know anybody who's passed away from addiction in any form or fashion, please drop their name in the comments or find me through the Papa link in the description, and I would love to ride for your person and celebrate their life with you for a day. If you know anybody who's actively addicted, anybody in general, share this with them. Thank you so much, Get Wrecked for Recovery crew, every one of you that is liking every video, commenting on every video, sharing every video. The analytics love it, I do too, and I'm thankful, so thank you so much. Don't forget Redeeming Eden is a nonprofit ministry through International Gospel Outreach. 
That link is also in the Papa link and in the description. You can go there and find out more about Redeeming Eden and the Cody Jordan Forever Funeral Fund, which is a fund I started to be able to help families that lose loved ones to addiction with paying funeral costs. So yeah, from here at the Sunday Lake Eddy Park Campground, there's the lake. It's all frozen. I'm frozen. I'm ready to get in my tent. I love you guys. Jesus loves you. I'll see you later. Have a good night.